cloud shoes. So we could study Harmony Lightbeard's philosophy of lightness. It's a midlife crisis thing. I'm just playing along. Is that all of them? Well, there's McGee, my teenager. Off their head in the cloud somewhere. You know what I mean. You must be very proud. Honey, I'm just trying to survive this phase, honestly. I wish you had just had an affair like most middle-aged men instead of dragging us all up here. <coughs> Enough about your family. Oh, sorry. Was I going on about them again? You can't make hats without a knife? Hats? I make life-saving cloud shoes here. Or I did. Until you came along. <laughs> you make shoes out of clouds? Uh, no. Shoes that keep you from sinking into clouds. They spread out your weight. Buoyancy is all about it. Wait, I know this. Area? Pounds per square inch. Skinny little feet like yours shoot through clouds like chopsticks through a tree. Hey, can you make me a pair of cloud shoes? Well, I can't make anything without my knife. Why don't you use your teeth? Shoes made of teeth? That's creepy. Well, I'll let you get back to your work. No, oh, my work. I had a knife. Totes had in it. Let's go this way. What's going on over here? Please place your offering into the bowls of enlightening. Hi, are you? You may call me Fether. Oh, yes, excuse me, Father. No, Fether. Like a light, beautiful feather, <laughs> but lighter. The third. Gave me that name. It's quite an honor. What are you guarding here? I make sure that Brother Lightbeard's time is not wasted. He's a busy man, you know. So you're Mr. Lightbeard's heavy? Hey, there's no call for personal insults. Do you know where Gus went? He's got an egg I need. That one is struggling with the consequences. <coughs> he is yet to give up even a single letter in his name. He's worried people will think his name is Gas. Can I go up and see Mr. Lightbeard? All are welcome on Brother Lightbeard's cloud after they make an offering. Since a quest coming. What kind of offering? It's not the object that matters, but the thought behind it. Huh. Weird. I don't suppose there's a big ladder like this that goes down. Huh. Last time I checked, most ladders go both directions. Can I just go up the ladder without making an offering? Brother Lightbeard gives you this opportunity to lighten your load for your benefit, not his. Uh-huh. I'll let you get back to work. Go in Alrighty then. Darkness, my friend. So I'll go back this way. Uh 
Uh, maybe over here? Seems like he fell down or whatever. Although... How's it hanging? <laughs> Good one. So, uh, how's the view up there? I don't know. All I can see is my mother's disappointed face. That's fucking intense all of a sudden. I really like your outfit. Yeah, I liked it too. Not good enough though, apparently. And on top of that, the shoes were too tight. Did you say something about shoes? Yeah, why? You need some? Take these. I don't need any. I'm gonna sit here forever. What are you doing down here? I'm an offering for the maiden's feast. You can't tell? Jeez, it's worse than I thought. I was in a maiden's feast too. Just today, in fact. Oh, really? You didn't get peaked either? Uh, yeah, I didn't get picked either. Probably because of that shabby dress. Hey. Sorry. I only said that because I'm sad. And because Shh, don't tell her. Stuff. Look, I think it's time we start fighting that monster. You're just going through that anger phase <coughs> after not getting picked. That was me yesterday. Kind of shabby looking for a maiden's feast. Hey, I can't help the way I look. No, I mean the broken bird cages and feathers. Oh, yeah. Well, that's because the feast is over. Need help? Uh, cleaning up? Why bother? Well, it's just kind of a mess down here. So am I. That's why I like it. If the feast is over, what are you doing here? Rub it in, why don't you? I'm still here because I didn't get picked, okay? Look on the bright side. You didn't get eaten by a monster. I'd rather do that than face my family right now. Who am I kidding? They've probably already jumped off a cloud in shame by now. Well, I'll leave you alone. These people are Just like my awful. Did. Let me <laughs> we got some shoes. And go stand in clouds now. Thanks for the shoes. Now if I stand over here, we're good. Hi there. Talk to the other birds. What do you birds do for fun around here? There's a lot of birds. Hi. Oh, I want to talk to McGee. Hey, what's up? Uh, nothing. What did you say your name was? McGee. It's Maggie, but without the A. My dad's idea. Don't you mind that your dad took the A out of your name? Well, yeah, but my dad said, Hey, losing an A is better than losing an I. <laughs> <laughs> Dad's pretty creepy. He wasn't before he joined this cult. Oh, whoops. Did I say that too loud? Your dad's in a cult? Uh, he's just taking this light bird worship a little too far. But it's okay. <laughs> At least it got him out of his line dancing phase. What are you doing exactly? I'm taking care of these eggs. If it weren't for me, they'd uh get dusty or something. <laughs> Oh god. So short, you mean? No, I. Uh... I'm just messing with you. I have a ladder. <coughs> hey, is there any way out this cloud? You think I'd be here if there were? We used to have a cool feather bear that went straight down to the forest below. But Harmony took it out. 
can I buy a ladder? Mm, okay. Huh, that's awfully small. Hey, short things can surprise you, okay? True. Why'd they take out the feather vader? Harmony decided that nobody had any reason to leave. Maybe I should just jump. Tried it. No good. Whoops, the birdie guards catch you and bring you back. What you need is a ladder. But it would have to be much taller than mine. Lightbeard's really serious about this lightness thing, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Seems like it. People say he only eats feathers. Ick. But it's not true. Good. He only licks them. Ugh. Hey, what kind of bird lays those golden eggs? Oh, those? Those are egg substitutes. We make them for the older, senile gulls who forget they don't have eggs. Why are they made of gold? <coughs> the stuff we have. We want them to be heavy, so the gulls can't carry them off and lose them. Hey, nice cloud shoes. Duh. My mom made them for me. All the other kids have cool name brand cloud shoes, <coughs> but I get homemade. Oh. But don't tell her I said that. The shoe thing is all she's got. Well, I'll leave you alone. <sighs> okay. See that golden egg back there? Oh, a knife. Look where my knife fell. That's my knife. Good thing it didn't land on anybody. Bam! It's my mom's special ceremonial knife. Go get that golden egg over there. Guess I'm not getting that thing now. And go give her the knife, though. Hi, those don't look like Jesse's. Better leave them alone. Some big, big old shoes. Oh, so that's what happens when you you fall. Hey, thanks for saving my life back there. Sorry, I said you were part vulture. Hey, girl. Settle down. I'm going to find your missing egg for you, okay? How's it hanging? <laughs> Good one. Well, I'll leave you alone. Just like Mark Chather did. I'm used to it. So sad, Jesus. Maybe a nice pair of comfortable <coughs> shoes would help. Don't need them. Nowhere to go. All righty then.
Come back this way, see if I missed anything. Hey, welcome back. I can't get them to stay on my feet. Whoa, what did my mom make those shoes for? An elephant? Good to see you again. So I'm wondering. I have no idea where I'm going now. See what's over there. Man, that sign really did not do this thing justice. <laughs> oh, man, allergies. Can't reach that spot. Maybe I could find a low hanging branch without falling through the ground. Oh, awesome. Give me some fruit. Dang. Can hear me? Yeah, I don't know where you are though. No. Oh! In here. Huh, okay. That's like the way down. Hey, listen, I can explain. I was taking Jesse's egg for a cleaning and hey, wait, wait, who are you? You're in big trouble, young man. Oh, man, don't tell Harmony, okay? He already has it in for me. Why don't you just let go? I'm 85% sure someone would catch you. I'm stuck! I'm caught on this branch and I can't reach back that far! What are you really doing down here? I was just chasing some fruit that fell off that tree and I hit a weak spot in the clouds. Why would Jesse's egg need cleaning anyway? Well, it, it didn't, but I needed the work credits to make up for some hygiene demerits I got last week. Mind if I just squeeze past you? Yeah, that's a good idea. Come over here so I can grab on. No way. Well, you hang in there, kid. My underwear, it's on the branch. <laughs> yeah, I'll get, please unhook my underwear. Sorry, I'm not going anywhere near your underwear. <laughs> Come here and h help me. Hey. Great, now let me just climb under your shoulders. Quit it. <laughs> Well, dang. <laughs> Drop me off at the same spot again? No, okay, cool. <laughs> See what happens if I go here. Alright, well that worked better than expected.
Got her egg. Sweet. Over here. Oh, sweet. Some of that fruit. Alright, back up we go. Here you go. Boy, heavy. <laughs> now, let me explain. I didn't take... Oh, hey, you're welcome. Wasn't anything, really. Oh, man, this thing is heavy. I'll take that. Here. I do have to have three offerings, I guess. Please place your offering into the bowls of enlightening. Whoa, careful there. That thing's heavy. Okay, so it's based on how much weight it is. Jesus Christ this is a long fucking ladder. And crooked as shit. Broken. Poop out an egg? No, fell out of my pile of food. I mean it must have been Pay no attention to that. Actually, I just want to get off this cloud. Oh, I understand. You're quite mentally ill, aren't you? Have no fear, you've come to the right place. Hey, are you done with that golden egg? That's mine. I might need it someday. Uh I mean, take it away. I need it like a blue jay needs a bowling ball. Oops! Heads up for there! Oh. I really, really want to get off this cloud. Do you have any idea what would happen if people could just leave Mary Loft whenever they felt like it? Sounds like Jack Black. Everyone would leave? What? No! Mary Loft would become lighter? Hmm, hadn't thought of that. But no. I could go kill that is Jack Black. What an offensive idea. No! People Sounds like him anyway. Unenlightened. So because I care so much, we have the Whoop Subverty Network to make escape. I mean, <clears throat> enlightenment impossible. Why do you have laces and a big bow on your cloud? Oh, why, uh, you see... I exude such a powerful aura of lightness, it's made these clouds hyperbuoyant. If I didn't lash them together, they'd fly away into the heavens. Why are you up here so high? I'm exactly as high up from Mariloft as Mariloft is from the forest below. To show that we're all equals. I don't get it. It'll start to make sense after a few weeks of meditation, my child. Thanks for the help. See you later. Be light, child. He's breathing. Better let him sleep. He's breathing. Better let him sleep. 
If that, where did the other dude go? We're gonna need thicker shoes to stop him from falling through the damn ground. Nope, nope, almost fell. Let's go over there. Throw the fruit. Anyone up there want some delicious fruit? At least I think it's delicious. Could be poisonous. Anyway, free fruit. Hey, anyone up there wants No, nope. all right. Fruit? Jerk. I think it's delicious. Could be poisonous. <laughs> That's the same thing. These guys have anything else to say? Well, I'll see you two later. Very oh, well. okay. Some fruit. Anybody want some delicious fruit? No thanks. Gotta stay light, you know. Try to give it to fucking light, whatever. How you doing? Please place your offering into the bowls of enlightenment. Harmony, I'm here to give you fruit, maybe. <coughs> Why are you up here so high? I'm exactly as high up from. Thanks for the help. See you later. Be light, child. Oh, well, never mind. Maybe uh, if there wants some fruit, you want some fruit, buddy? Sorry. 